Good evening, dudes and dudettes, lords and ladies of the realm. It's the Wolves Blood 6 with another Kit Bash update from the Wolves Den. Definitely took a little bit break of doing videos, but I haven't stopped in uh, buying stuff, uh, over buying stuff actually. Right here, case in point, I bought three of the same 4.0 bodies um, on eBay. I got two uh, from the same seller. And then I got one more for a bid, which I pretty much got these for a steal, which is awesome. Um, I also have two orders from Toy Anxiety that I've been lagging to post. I also have a, um, a Sideshow Freaks order that I got uh, recently. And the Sideshow Freaks order, I'll just get that out of the way right here. And here. Oh, shit. Let me see if I can grab this one hand. Don't want to bust an MRA and drop everything. These two awesome revolvers these are from the um mila jovovich resident evil release fantastic got these from a seller on the sideshow freaks forum sold me both guns for about 25 bones pretty good deal um it did take him a while to ship them out but i ended up getting them and they are in fantastic shape look at that First off, I got this awesome belt here. This is for Rick Grimes Kit Bash. You cannot move any of these pieces on here, but it's still a pretty nice looking belt and you have the paint, silver paint on the buckle there. So that'll look cool for what I'm trying to accomplish, which is gonna be to finish up my motorcycle T1000 Kit Bash. Awesome. Then I got this pretty cool tang top from 16kit.com. It says right here on their little, let's see here. says right here on their card thank you for the purchase we are happy to announce that we now have our web store feel free to visit our website that's www.16kit.com enjoy shopping and they do make some pretty cool uh, products and they have some pretty cool head sculpts but the tank top itself has the details right here in the front to where it looks plain here then it has like the uh, regular wife beater type uh, design here in the center. Pretty cool. I also got this little shopping cart. This I got online after uh, Pop Smoke. He uh, clued me on this on Facebook. He said they're pretty cool. Throw your accessories in here. It's really not the right, it's not 1-6 scale, but it's pretty cool for a Joker bash. Kind of upset about this. Got this piece today on eBay for 20 bucks. I was in a bidding war with a guy over this and it went up to $25 for, this is Barney Ross's uh, beret. Uh, it went up to $25, then I just went for a buy it now for $19.99. Then today I went on Toy Anxiety and saw one for about $5.99. So really you guys, um, great seller. It was packed nicely, but really overpriced for this little fucking beret 20 bucks I mean I'm glad I found it the day that I was looking for it but still really too expensive uh, this is about $14 more than what I paid for one today online from Toy Anxiety and that's gonna be shipped from Arizona this one was shipped from God knows fucking where but uh, really guys Toy Anxiety save some money and speaking of Toy Anxiety it's been a couple weeks since I put up one of these kit bash updates from the Wolves Den so here is one of my Toy Anxiety orders that I received recently. I ordered Barney Ross's boots. This is from my Jason Statham, Jason Statham kit bash. These are really awesome because these are the ones from the Hot Toys release. And they have the ball joint in here. Um, the hole for the ball joint rather. They didn't come with the, the joints. <laughs> but boots are cool. They're not laced but still they're going to look good for, uh, for uniformity uh, with the two bashes. Over here with this American flag. Let me just show that one first. Got this awesome American flag. This is pretty cool. It's pretty big, large size. Let's see if I can hold that back enough for you without having to move the camera too much. Look at that, huh? It's a nice flag. That was about six bucks. It's so pretty cool. And then finally from this order from Toy Anxiety, I got the actual goggles. Of Barney Ross and again this is another one that's really priced better on Toy Anxiety these are about $3.99 these are the exact ones from the Hot Toys release so you're not getting screwed over with a knockoff you're actually getting the real deal 
that's Toy Anxiety, baby. And here's the other Toy Anxiety order that I got. This one's actually a little bit cooler. I got this watch from, I guess this is Chadman's Doctor Who 11th Doctor, Matt Smith. Uh, this is his watch. Got this thing for, I think, uh, $3.99. So pretty cool. Uh, you can never have enough watches. Yeah, it's one of those things that you use to cover up joints. Speaking of covering up them joints, I got this piece. This is from the um, Iron Island uh, release, Jack 5. These are his wrist pegs. Um, these were $1.99 for the set. These are actually real cool too. Because the, the whole figure looks awesome, but these pieces right here will be great to cover up joints. I'm thinking I'm going to use these for Terry Crews. It's pretty cool. Then I got these two pairs of socks. I ordered one pair. Let's see here. One pair is the full ankle, and the other one's a half ankle. So these are the uh, half ankle socks. These are from the Men's Homes version 11 um, socks. So these are cool. These will just fit over the uh, the joint again, joint coverage. Then I also got these just to have the two different types of socks. I have the full socks. These are from the uh, Johnny Depp DID Chicago Gangster. And these ones were 99 cents, I believe, as well. Last but not least, this is for my Marlon Brando. Fat body, look at that. This is from the DX13 Joker Mime figure. Real fat body here, so pretty cool. Can't wait to put that on the Godfather. Which head sculpt I do not have yet, so there you go. Very cool backpack off eBay. Got this for a real good price. This is from the, I believe the Denzel Washington figure. Real nice. This is going to go for Peter Parker, of course. Who else? Spider-Man 2 looks so good. Like always, you guys, thanks for watching. Look at those expendables right there. More Kit Bash updates on the way. I'm going to get him his... Um, the Barney Ross vest for sure and maybe new pants and I'm definitely gonna put Terry Crews in the Expendables outfit because I did order the other beret and that's gonna be for him but until then I'll catch you guys on the other side so go ahead and like this video subscribe comment and check out my other stuff later